Hello everyone, a uh, very warm welcome to Cerebellum. I'm Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty, and uh, I'm very happy to have with me Dr. Yash, who cracked the uh, exam, uh, that is FMG exam 2025 January session. So uh, that too in the very, very first attempt. So heartiest congratulations, Dr. Yash. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. And I want to mention his score. He has not only just to pass the exam the very first attempt, but he has cracked the exam with an excellent score of 223. So, Dr. Yash, when you saw your result, what was your expression? Just enlighten us. Ma'am, it was like, how? I mean, I have prepared well, but uh -huh. uh, I was not expecting 223 in this paper because uh -huh. after the exam, the reviews were like, paper was so tough and paper was so tough. I was afraid after giving exam. Till exam, I was okay, like uh, my paper is good. But after exam, I was so afraid that uh, I was not expecting 223. I was expecting 180 plus, I think. Okay. So that showed your confidence on yourself and your preparation that uh, you knew that you will pass. But it was just yes, core kya aega, that you did not know. Yeah, yes, you had the full confidence on your preparation. Yeah, yes, ma'am. So uh, did you celebrate with your friends, family at that time who were with you? Yes, ma'am. My family was around me. I was at home and it was very wonderful experience because uh, after so many times, because NEET UG was not uh, in favor of us. So this result gave very really happen, real happiness to us. Um, All right. So uh, tell me, Bita, how did you prepare for this exam? Did you start it after coming to India? Only you studied for four, these four months, four months, five months, or you started beforehand when you I were studying? I started India? before uh, I had done uh, major subjects uh, in my MBBS days. And after mm -hmm. coming uh, back to India, I started from zero again and I revised my main subjects and also done what was left, ma'am. All right. So that showed that you have covered the major chunk before coming to India. Yes, ma'am. Like surgery, OBGY, medicine, uh, these major subjects were already done in my MBBS days, ma'am. So uh, can can you give us an idea ki before coming to India, how many subjects you have already, you know, at least made a notes or read something about it? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, the, these three major subjects uh, mm -hmm. along with that ENT, pathology and pharm uh, physiology. These mm -hmm. were the major subjects. Like I had done medicine, so along with that, I covered uh, pathology and physiology also. And after that, I had uh, done uh, surgery, ENT, and uh, OBGY. Okay. So uh, these major subjects were done in my MBBS days, ma'am. So at least you will advise your juniors that six, seven subjects. Six, kar seven major subjects you can complete. Right. Yes, so yes, after yes, that, your a little bit anxiety level will come down that at least I have read sure, this sure, and I have you know known this concept. So that is there. All right. Yes, so tell me, yes, after coming India, what was your preparation or what was your strategy? You were saying something. Yeah. Continue with that. Yes, ma'am. I was saying that uh, as I had already done the major uh, main videos of these subjects, so I had to do only uh, uh, revision videos of these subjects. So I can revise revision notes easily as compared to main notes. So I had done main videos and uh, in these last six months, I only revised the, the revision notes. That mm -hmm. was my plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, how did you prepare after coming to India? What was your strategy after coming to India? Yes, ma'am. After coming to India, I completed my first trade till October, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, till October, I completed my first trade from uh, various sources, mainly from Cerebellum videos and uh, uh, other platform videos. But um, Cerebellum was a major part and uh, I used to watch, uh, I didn't attend many live uh, mission videos, but I watched mission videos because uh, timing of my schedule was not according to that. So, so I watched... at that time you couldn't see, but you saw the recorded videos. Yeah, yes, I I saw the recorded videos. And so, uh, did you but... completed all the subjects before going to exam? Yes, I I read videos? all the subjects. I didn't left any subject, ma'am. So that showed why your score is you know such an amazing uh, score because you have completed. You did not take any risk. Right? You yes, went all through. Even even short subjects, I had read three four times, ma'am. So tell me, you used to solve the MCQs, PYQs, or there was uh, yes, MCQs. late night PYQ were there. Yes, PYQ late night there. PYQs was the best thing in my preparation because uh, you cannot know that uh, this uh, uh, question is uh, either need PG or FMG or you are unknowingly just solving PYQs. So after when uh, you open the Cerebellum app and you see that uh, this need PG 2020 mo module and you had already solved majority of the questions of them, ma'am. So it was very helpful. Because so that basically was, bo boosts your confidence. Boosts your confidence. You 
yes ma'am and uh, when i uh, i didn't follow the subject wise marathon regularly because uh, when i was preparing for a particular subject then i used to open the cerebellum app and then solve that particular 6 7 pyq marathons of that particular subject but the mixed back uh, pyq marathons i solved regularly ma'am okay so uh, what about uh, the uh, you know just before the exam let's say 10 days before the exam what was uh, you know how you control your emotion and you keep this consistency going on yes ma'am in last 10 days there were marathon videos also from uh, cerebellum so i watched uh, three four subjects uh, marathon videos but uh, not whole because i was uh, using my notes only in last 10 days i thought that my notes will be more, more beneficial to me so uh, i saw one message of pravin sir in that cerebellum group said don't uh, get fomo of these marathon videos as you have to you can uh, also trust your notes also so that message helped me and i followed the my notes only okay so student has the fomo just before the exam that ye bhi karna chahiye wo bhi karna chahiye yes, so ma'am. you Because show the confidence on your uh, content. content yes ma'am on youtube on various apps there is lots of content so we get fomo of that i had missed that i missed that so i was just following my notes only i trusted my source ma'am all right so uh, when you saw the amazing score it must have come to you that what you have done your strategy was absolutely correct that you did not you know fell in the trap of fomo or you know yes, follow no. multiple contents and and remembering nothing basically that is what happened because no, ma'am every teacher strategy. is good ma'am every teacher is good you cannot just specify that this teacher is good or this teacher is bad you have to just study the main point is you have to revise your notes or you have to memorize your content So, so any of, advice that you want to give to your juniors yes my advice would be that solve mcqs regularly and uh, give gts because gts can make time management easy and uh, uh, the art of solving mcq which uh, lots of teachers say about is very important for exam ma'am all right so that is your mantra solve more mcqs and you know be uh, consistent basically be consistent be, be consistent yes ma'am sure So thank you very much uh, Dr Yash for sharing your such a wonderful story with us and thank you for making us the part of your success story right you, we are very very glad that you are our bachcha and you have cracked this exam with such a wonderful score of 223 yes so ma'am i got the cerebellum plan when cerebellum was launched because i knew that this platform is good i was not mission subscriber i had already bought the subscription in april when the app was launched ma'am Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, story because your scores, your first attempt uh, scores, that two two twenty three marks, it is definitely going to inspire many many students, right? Yes, and yes. Uh, your advice is also they are going to follow and they are going to get inspired. Thank you, Dr. Yash, for coming over here and sharing your success story and heartiest congratulations you, once again. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Chala, see ya, bye bye. Thank you.